Good day, everyone. Whoa, what is this setup? Are we on a bed? Yes, yes, we are. But that's not gonna stop me. I am in college, guys, and we are in my college house, so I'm gonna be a little quiet, but you know what I'm saying. <laughs> Right behind me, I have LPS. They finally came in the mail, guys. I've been seeing everyone unbox these and I was like, I, I wish I could. I'm still trying to look for the double packs. I want the Timberwolf and um, let's see, the Clydesdale. Really want that, so. I wanted any of the other tubes. Not necessarily this one, because I literally have this one in the G2, just without the little diamond design, but um, we, we have this one, so I would like the other two and I'm gonna make it my goal to get them, but at the time being, we are opening this one. The City Vibes, the City Vibes. Sorry for the lighting, I'm sorry for the really boringness, but we're in college and that's what college is. Just kidding, college can be fun, guys, okay. So here we have the City Vibes Series 1, so that means that they're coming out with more LPS. Here's the like little option, it's not even an option, it's a pet trio. Man, I don't know if I ever opened an LPS tube. Like, I know they made the tubes back in the day. Also, I'm using this LPS because I don't have Misty yet. I literally only have this one and these ones now. Anyways, we're gonna open this packaging. I don't know if it's supposed to be from the bottom. Ooh, look at this. Mmm. Mmm. That was satisfying. Look at this tube. You can make like a... a tunnel for your LPS or something. Okay. I assume this is the card. Um, I also like how there's not a lot of plastic used on, I say that as I'm like struggling with the tape, but um, there's not too, too much plastic. Here we have a little coin, honestly, I'll just give you guys the code. Here's the code, someone use it so it doesn't go to waste, but there we go. Here is a card, we got the fanciest level one, the little dog, the little lapsa apsa, I think is what it's called. It's, it's either that or Maltese, I don't really remember. But here we have all of the LPS, guys, we got the farm set, so don't you worry. And then this one, this little guy is so interesting. I don't even know what to think of him. Uh, by the way, this one, I bought both of these with my own money, so not sponsored, um, honest, honest reviews here. Um, but I really want these two so bad, those two so bad. I want an axolotl very badly too. I love the axolotls. Well, I've never had one, but I want to see them with their little egg heads and receding hairline, so. I must say, I really like how the packaging, it was like a twine wire holding the pets in instead of like rubber elastic. Um, just because the rubber elastic over time, it'll break and it'll snap. And if you're keeping LPS in packaging, they won't stay there. And look at this little hot pink fuchsia magenta, gorgeous color little doggy dish that came in it very cute it's like the old style ones if you guys have the g2 accessory and here are the pets all out we're gonna each give them their little model little runway action vibes um let's get the lighting yeah i know it's crusty i'm right next to the windows guys but you know it's raining all the time here so first up is this little lapsa apsa maltese dog i think it's a maltese honestly i yeah I'm sort of forgetting, but she has a little paint right there on her eyebrow, but that is okay. As you guys know, they are using screen printing for the eyes, which you does get a little grainy, but you can't really tell, especially on camera. Like, it's really hard to tell. So I honestly really don't mind it. This one reminds me of an LPS I have at home, just as I said, without the little diamond design. But other than that, she's basically the exact same. Honestly, she might be a little redder, um, a little more red in her fur tone than brown. So yeah, honestly, the paint job looks pretty good. Next up, this bird, which is the one I was most excited for in this package. I think that her colors are really gorgeous. I think they just pop. I think that just these little uh, cockatoos, no. Pheasants, no. Birds of paradise, maybe. But I love the blue and her light blue wings. I think that's really cute. And then this weird cat mold, I don't really even know what it is. I'm just gonna call it plain old regular cat. I feel like she's sort of cute. I sort of like her eyes a lot. I think that with the little three eyelashes, it's just really cute how they did that. I honestly sort of want to head swap her onto like a short hair cat body. <laughs> I don't know, that might actually be weird. I don't know if I like that idea, but her little paw is up. And she's cute. I don't have this mold. And I think it's such an interesting mold that they decided to bring back. Oh. <laughs> okay. Now onto the true actual meat and potatoes, guys. The farm set. The farm set, guys. It's the farm set. I cannot get over the beauty, the nostalgia of this box, guys. <clears throat> you know, 
So this is the farm besties, farm besties, farm. Okay, I'm gonna stop. My roommates can probably hear me. So this is really awkward, guys. I cannot tell you how excited I am for this little goat. I've been dying since I've been seeing the images online. And this little milk jar, I've always wanted one of these like little milk jars. So here it is. Um, here's the nostalgia, the nostalgia of it all. Beautiful, beautiful. Look at this, look at this packaging. Mm. It's gorgeous. It's absolutely stunning. Look at this, the Roblox game. Snip, snip, snip. And let's open this box. Mmm. Was I supposed to open it from the top? Oh, honestly, yeah. It looks like maybe I was supposed to open it from the top. <gasps> Whoa. And let's see. It comes with the little rooster card. He is rare, guys. I'm honestly not really sure how they determine, like, the rarity, because, I mean, maybe, like, the farm pack's only available at certain places. Look at the bobble, guys. I'm telling you, the bobble is back. And then we have the same brochure. Same old, same old. Mmm, nostalgia. I love the brochures. Here are the accessories. I feel like I've already gotten this bucket so many times in the blind boxes, but that is okay. Um, I don't have this little fence. I think it could be like a little jumping thing for a little obstacle course. We got some carrots, an orange dog biscuit. Can never have enough dog biscuits. Some apples, little hay bale, and this milk. This little milk is what I honestly am so excited for. Look at that, it's so cute, it's so cute. Starting off with this Pomeranian, she is gorgeous. She has a really good bobble. She reminds me of that one blind box Pomeranian. Just this one has a little lightning bolt. So I'm sort of hoping Basic Fun does not repeat a lot of the same patterns and designs on previous pets and molds from like the G2 because the ones that we have spent money on will lose value and even if it's just this little thing, I feel like you could remove this with nail polish remover. So if you don't want it on there, I feel like you could remove it. I probably might try to remove it when I get home. I, I like don't really know why a Pomeranian is in the Farm Bestie set because I, when I think of that, I think of like, uh, you know, shepherds and border collies and all that stuff. So interesting. Next up, we got my first ever rooster, guys. Isn't he cute? Ah, oh, he is a little gorgeous dude. Look at that little his mohawk. Mm. His tail, he's very gorgeous. I really like the paint and the like pattern on him. I know he's pretty similar to what like a Malin exclusive pet, but th that one was glittery and it did not have the little diamonds up here. So that's what differentiates them. They did not make a lot of his mold. So I'm really happy to finally have one and not pay like a whole bunch of money for it. Here's the rooster. His paint job looks really good, even though his design is quite intricate. Next up is this donkey or a mule. It's so cute. I don't know. I've never had one. They're really tiny compared to what I thought they were going to be, but they're so cute, guys. Oh, look at this little mohawk. Mmm. Scrumptious. And his little pattern. It's quite simple. I would like to see, like, a gray one or a brown one or, like, a spotted one. I don't know. They could do a lot, but I like the little, the little donkeys. They're really cute, and they're totally underrated, and I don't own one, so I'm happy to own one. Honestly, the paint job looks pretty good. I mean, it's a really simple design. So all of these pets have a white peg, and even the ones in the city bundle, it looks like all the new LPS have white pegs, as far as I can tell. I don't know if they are gonna make, like, fake ones. Like, if other companies are gonna make fake LPS. Like, I don't know. It's, it's gonna be weird. It's gonna be really weird. Next up is this little ant, like a raspberry color, so cute. Uh, this is like a little fire ant. Um, I guess I could fit in the farm besties, but usually when I think of like farm, I think of like cows and horses and pigs, which you think that they would add in here or something, but they added like a dog and an ant, so very interesting. And she has little hearts on her cheeks. Ants are really cute, they're underrated, and I don't know, I think that they would make a really cute mascot. And the LPS I've been waiting for, guys, ah! Look how adorable she is, mm. Okay, absolutely, I love the teal eyes. I have an obsession with the LPS with teal eyes and brown eyes too. She has tiny pink little horns and she has a pink little, mm. She is gorgeous. She is so stunning. Here she is, ah. Oh. I cannot, guys, I love goats. Goats are literally my favorite animal. Goats are literally my screensaver on my phone and my background. Yeah, I cannot get over how cute she is. I absolutely love like how she's a gray color. I think it's so cute. And I'd like to see some more like realistic-y um, designs. Like I know the pink is not necessarily realistic, but it is like more normal. Like same with this dog and the rooster back there. And honestly, all the LPS in here are pretty realistic colored, but they have some like crazy colored ones. And I don't know, I sort of, I sometimes tend to go towards the more realistic ones unless the like very colorful ones are 
really well designed and the colors all really match but here's um this goat and i honestly think she has a really good bobble compared to like the g2 lps goats the bobble is back oh and i just want to point out like yeah here's the eyes yeah they look really good this one has like a little little clump of paint or something on her eye but it's not very noticeable and overall i think the new lps are really good quality well everyone, thank you so much for watching my impromptu LPS unboxing in college. And there's not many stores around me, so I can't really go like hunting for LPS anywhere. So we gotta order them all here. So whatever I can find online, I'm getting guys. Anyways, let me know if you guys got your hands on any of the new LPS and if so, which ones are your favorite? Have a wonderful and magical day. Bye.